And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some LeBlanc Frostbite. We definitely got to play this one again after doing so well with it last time. And so we're bringing it back because it's Rank Up Sunday. I've always enjoyed playing these Ash Frostbite decks and have always had some good success with them. So let's let's run it back. Let's try it again. So there's, um, you know, this is a deck that's been around for a long time, but we got a new champion in here with LeBlanc. Three mana, five, two, quick attack. That five power is going to be the key number because we're going to be playing cards like Trifarian Assessor. Draw one for each five plus power ally you have. We also got Whisper Words and Bloody Business in here that care about, you know, Whisper Words with the reputation, that care about the five plus power allies. Oh, yeah, Reckoning. <laughs> I should have forget about that card. That card's also quite good. One very small change since the last time we played it. We played three Flash Freeze. I do want to have a Brittle Steel, a nice one-mana spell, especially with there just kind of being some less... There's less large units in the format right now, a lot of you know, a lot of three or less health units. So I want one copy of Brittle Steel. But let's go ahead and get to it. Let's play some LeBlanc Frostbite. Let's see how we do. But you got to do what you got to do. Ooh, a Kindred at Nasus. That's a cool combination. All right, so I like our opening hand, so I will keep it. Um, I like everything about this. We got our two champions. We got two good spells. So we'll just keep two champions, two spells. We are not good against removal spells with this hand. If they just, like, kill my LeBlanc, kill my Ash. Yep, not great against just regular old removal spells with this hand. It didn't necessarily get better. But the Emperor commands the land obey. Hope they don't black spear. I guess the plus three plus one would have been really bad right there. I just I didn't want my Ash taking any damage. And so it worked out really well for me, but that plus three plus one would have been uh, pretty bad for me to see. Okay. So we still have a Culling Strike to try to take down this Kindred. But it's going to be a dead Ash. Got a backup Ash. I guess I should have mulliganed my Brittle Steel. They're you know, much more of a control deck. I need to look for my different card draw things and size cards, like Everos and Hearth cards and card draw and all that kind of stuff. Just holding on to the Ice Veil Archer for now. I must get out of here. Lead the target. All right, so Ash is at three. 
So I guess I, I can open attack with a leveled up Ash. That's attacking for 13. Like if I play this Icefield Archer right now and then just attack next turn. Which attacking for 13 is not lethal, but it's probably a better idea than anything else I have. Other idea would be leading with Assessor next turn. Well, I guess I'll just do that. They can't have Ruination. They only have 8 mana. Can't even block. A chill in the air. Yeah, we have played against a bunch of Azir Lucian recently. Watch, learn. That was a good Vile Feast. They just blocked the 6-4. Yeah, obviously I can make the 6-4 not be able to block, but that's wasting a flash freeze. I don't really want to do that. My aim is true. We have LeBlanc as our other champion. The previous version, yes, would be Sejuani with Ash. I do not like how this game has played out. So far, and they still have all sorts of cards in hand. Shall we, dear wolf? I'm ready, little lamb. Basically, doing this to draw a card. Do not feel good about our chances this game. I should have mulliganed more Frostbite cards. The bait. And just seeing that they're a kindred deck, I... Uh, yeah, I, I should have just mulliganed differently. Basically still kept the two champions and mulliganed the other two cards. So I get wrecked by Ruination if I try to extend. But if they have a Ruination in hand, I don't think we can win this game. So, I'm going to extend. And if they have a Ruination, we are going to lose this game. I'm hoping they do not have a Ruination, one. And two, they do not have a way to kill my Ash. That's Clutch Balfies. So that was poor mulliganing and also poor drawing. Okay, this is kind of more our speed. This is a deck that's built around combat. They make things that are very big in attack. We got the Frostbite cards, which should be good in this matchup. Harsh Winds should be great, but I don't want to keep a six mana card. We'll keep the Flash Freeze and the Trapper. All right, love it. We got turn one Omenhawk. All right, this is a much better hand, and also, I think, a better matchup. This would have been a great card to have last time, the Whisper Words. Okay. I like 6-3 LeBlanc. Save spell mana, or... Nah. A chill in the air. Well, 
That was a really good Omen Hawk. I don't really want to... I guess we just do this. Ideally, I would be able to... Like, I would pass, and then they would play something, and then it would go back to me, and then I would play LeBlanc. But I really don't want to, like, pass, and then they just also pass, and I just waste my turn. But now they know, okay, they have LeBlanc. Okay, it doesn't look like they have anything to interact with that. All right, so that worked out. All right, so they can kill that Omen Hawk with this Ruthless Raider, but... Oh, well. And I, I think I'm actually just going to pass. So that next turn, whenever I Ash attack, I have Flash Freeze back up. Oh, man. But now I could have Trapper plus... Oh man, I wanted to Ash, but now I have Trapper plus Glory Seeker. Patience. Victory requires a sharp blade. Face me. Cause they definitely have to do stuff, right? Because this is them taking 14. So we'll kind of see what they do. I don't have to just flash freeze immediately. We'll kind of see what they do and see if we want to flash freeze. Depending on what they got, like troll chance and stuff. I don't know what they'll, all they'll have. Double troll chance. Well, that's pretty good. All right, so let's save. Save my Glory Seeker and Frostbite this thing. Sejuani is good. Still good. I will unite the Freljord. You die here, Queen Ash. Elves in the ready. You are mine. Okay, let's keep attacking. Just keep attacking. Yeah, we played Deep actually yesterday, Zah. It's not up on YouTube quite yet. It will be up tonight on YouTube. But yeah, we played it yesterday and actually uh, did well with it. Alright, so this is them going down to five. I lose Ash, they lose three things. We will just take that trade. I don't want to try to be the first to act with like the bloody business and then get blown out. I think we can trade Ash for those three. That's worth it. Okay. Not bad. Violence, chaos, and destruction. Destruction. Joke debate. The best lies are beautiful. Good carton. I feel like they're going to use a, a vulnerable thing, right? They haven't used one yet this game besides just Sejuani. So I feel like they use one. Because the... So, like, the bloody business can save whatever they use it on. Alright, well now... Alright, I'm just gonna kill Renekton. The third troll chant?
Come on. Whoa. We have plus three, plus one? The reason to block is to level up, or like to get the mirror image card. But mirror image, so an exact comp, then we'll copy. Okay, yeah. So it doesn't have to strike already. I don't even know if like getting the Sivir is better than getting the Glory Seeker, honestly. Or LeBlanc, man, I am I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if targeting LeBlanc. There we go. My arrow won't miss. For glory, my move. Face me. Wouldn't we get two mirror images from this attack? Why are we only getting one? Shouldn't we get two? Like, shouldn't shouldn't they each create a mirror image? Why did this one not create a mirror image? I don't understand. One step closer. Oh, okay. So they they both they both had the ability, but we only create one because then you don't create a second one because it's like Zoe. You get you just reduce the cost by one, like with the super cool star charts. Okay, right. That part of the card. I forgot about that part of the card. Fiora Shen. Frostbite cards can also be pretty good against Fiora Shen at times. I, while I usually love Omen Hawk, I don't love Omen Hawk against Fiora. So we're going to go ahead and mulligan the Omen Hawk. Hello. All right, Fiora out of here. That's why I didn't play the Glory Seeker on turn two, but who knows, maybe I should just play the Glory Seeker on turn two. Um, they can go, you know, like, they, like I go, if I go Ash, they go three drop, I attack, they go Repost. That's problematic. Repose is a problem. Victory requires a sharp blade. We'll take the advantage of all the mana. Changes but never breaks. Our strength is yours. Why not swing there? Because then they get to they get to um, develop afterwards. Sweep them away. So we trade Culling Strike for Sharp Sight. Force them to have Sharp Sight. They could have Nopify. No. A gift from the river folk. Very good troll chant. I think not. Like that troll chant quite a bit. Who does not know the name Laurent? Show me a target. Avarosans, stand together. You are mine. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, repose plus sharp sight can get me. We will reform. 
currents pull them down. Strike, we will reform. This is my opponent. All right, so we like I have two spells. Oh, okay. I say the onus is on them to respond first, but they're just gonna let it all happen. All right, so we know that they've drawn two spells off the River Shaper. But we have done a good job keeping their board clear. Bad. All right, so Ash is at three. My arrow won't face me. My arrow won't face me. All right, well, they're not dead yet. We know one of our top two cards is going to be Enraged Yeti. Yeah, it's going to be tough for them to win this game, but it's not over yet. I feel pretty good about it. Show them what we're made of. Hmm. Oh, and Hawk's not so good. That's probably not worth it. Good card. Sure. No. Yeah, sure. As long as, as, long as they're not killing Ash, I'm happy with that. We swim within the flows of magic. Yeah, it could be Golden Ages. If they play Golden Ages, they lose the game. But they are also probably just going to be losing this game. All right, they lost the game. The time is right. Strike now. We'll just reckoning away their board. Last breath should be a keyword, right? That's. It sounds like a keyword. I'm not sure if it doesn't count as like a keyword or not. It sounds like a keyword though. For like quicksand? I would think it does. The war is over. Now we rebuild. Alright. This is fate. Try to do some frostbiten. I do like Troll Chant. I don't know about this Ice Veil Archer. If they have... If they have, like, the one mana 2-1, this Ice Veil Archer is going to be kind of... Bleh. Not that one mana 2-1. I should have been more specific. They had Zonite Urchin. Ice Veil Archer is bleh against Zonite Urchin. But obviously, I, I will trade you know this for Ballistic Bot or Fizz or those other ones. Sup, Reckoning? Whoa! They just rummaged away two Fizzes. Wow, they had triple Fizz. They have triple fizz. <laughs> Something fishy. About that. Yeah. In their tracks. Is this going to be just our third straight opponent that plays this game that has turn five Twist of Fate level up? I'm 
Our previous two opponents have had turn five. Twist the fate level up. They just do this. They just play Fizz on Fizz on four plus. Pick a card. Let them think it's luck. Um, I would like to play Reckoning, but but if they have Mystic Shot, it blows up my Reckoning. Save two life. So it would have been a lot better if this Reckoning was Culling Strike, right, and we could have Culling Striked that card last turn. That would have been really nice, but... That got rid of a lot of cheat spells for the for the twist of fame. Dead in their tracks. Man, Twist of Fate is busted. <laughs> I took all my cards. I still got four more. If they don't have another Twisted Fate, we have a good chance. If they have a Twisted Fate, we probably lose. That's it's kind of that's kind of the game right now. Well, that's not ideal. Maybe not. Maybe we still lose. I guess I didn't think of. Six sixes. So two damage is enough to perfectly level up LeBlanc. I go two damage on the Staring Poro. Well, I guess, ho hope they don't have the third suit up. All right, so they did have a stress testing, so they got to draw three. Now, and they found Twisted Fate. The trap is set. Shuffle.
they're gonna get another four cards at the beginning of the next turn. Oh gosh. Really? Yeah, Burlfish is just, you know, that's another card. Now they get gold card. Now that kills LeBlanc. It's unreal. All right, back to the same matchup again. Hopefully this time we have Culling Strike instead of Reckoning. All right, like, we could have Culling Strike that first Twisted Fate. We would have been just fine. All right, so we have the Culling Strike. We have the Omen Hawk to buff stuff up. I don't know about, like, LeBlanc against the deck with Mystic Shots and Get Excited. And also just Twisted Fate Gold card. LeBlanc doesn't seem to match up very well in this, like, against those removal spells. Like, against just PNZ. And Twisted Fate. I'm gonna I'm gonna send them both back. Kinda be better than those cards. Okay. But you know, maybe we'll draw LeBlanc here after the Omen Hawk, so they'll at least be three health. I just miss out on one damage by seeing if they play something we need to challenge. Yeah, the stress testing card is pretty good. Else? <laughs> wow. They got a rummage and they didn't want to get rid of their rummage. wanted to just attack and challenge and not let them twist a fate red card kill my glory seeker but now we drew this leblanc yeah i guess they just get to twist a fate red card kill my glory seeker maybe they don't have twist a fate for a game i don't know if i've ever played against this deck and they don't have twist a fate because they've already drawn a bunch of cards yeah i don't know if that's possible for them not to have twist a fate but maybe they don't no twist a fate just play like a spray fin or something wow Probably burn spell. Yep. <sighs> do I save Culling Strike for Twisted Fate, or do I just simply kill this Ballistic Bot right now? Not let them continue to create free spells. It's a tough choice. Well, good thing I didn't go for the cooling strike. That would have been a blowout. So they've already played what two of these daring por two of these things? Do y'all think they have the third one? They did just draw a spell that costs three or less with the spray fin, but I I could maybe be able to kill this fizz with this calling strike right now. Because it's only just the they only have like the three zero mana spells right with the three portal cannons, and they've already played two of the three. Yeah, maybe that's too risky. It's either that or I'm going to flash freeze the Fizz right now, you know, save three life and then keep them from... <sighs> keep them from creating the spell. Best case scenario is we kill it with Culling Strike. I think I'm going to just flash freeze. Yep, 
Yeah, I wasn't going to let it hit me and make the spell. It was just which one of those two did I want to play, and it was... So risky either way. All right, so we're at eight. So if I do the two and the five first, that'd be seven. So I would level up LeBlanc. Alright, well now we know for sure that that Fizz is dead. Can you improve perfection? Where are we at with reputation? It doesn't really tell us. I think we win this game. Of course, I could save three life, but, but I've said I like the trade. We'll see how this works out. So I'm at seven. A couple of burn spells can kill me. I don't. I don't think this is going to work out well for us. Looks like I would have been able to kill if I would have gone with the Culling Strike. I would have been able to kill the Fizz. So if I would have gone the Culling Strike, I could have saved the Flash Freeze, and you know we could have had a Flash Freeze for another attack. Also, it just, you know, I, I thought about. Remember, like a long time ago, we thought about playing the Culling Strike just on that, um, on that Ballistic Bot, and it definitely looks like that's the play that I should have done. We should have. Uh, killed that ballistic bot a long time ago. Forgets, that we are like that. Uh, creating those one mana spells has you know dealt a bunch of damage to us, and the ballistic bot was a good blocker and everything like that. Like that's I should have calling strike to that a, a very long time ago. Line up. It was hard to know though. You know I I was you know of course worried about twisted fate, but that was that was the play of this game that I think could have changed a bunch of stuff. Okay, so we only ended up going two and three there, losing to the control deck, where we had the wrong part of our deck, and then losing twice to a Twisted Fizz. That Twisted Fizz deck is pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I, I needed to Culling Strike that, that Ballistic Bond much earlier. That would have helped us out quite a bit. The first time against Twisted Fizz, we had the Reckoning, and that Reckoning, yeah, I couldn't use, I didn't have the man, couldn't like really use that to kill that Twisted Fate in time. The second time we had the Culling Strike, and you know, Reckoning would have been a lot better. <laughs> so if only we could have switched those two. Because the second time they had like the hand that of going wide, like the hand where the Reckoning would have been much better against, and I had a better, you know, hand of like getting five cost units and everything like that. But a big problem for that matchup for us is kind of LeBlanc. LeBlanc looks pretty bad in that matchup, just with that two health. Like it's just so easy for them to kill LeBlanc with um with get excited with mystic shot with twisted fate gold card and it's a and all those things are just a huge um and e even ash you know it's not diff that difficult for them to kill ash but you know like all those things are just huge tempo losses for us you know like that game they had the mystic shot to kill my glory seeker that was going to kill the ballistic bot that was a that hurt and then they also had that get excited to kill my leblanc whenever it's attacking that hurt and then you know like all their things are unblockable but then they, so I can't block any of their stuff. They get to block all of my stuff. And then they also have all the direct damage spells. So all that together makes it, makes it tough at times. But that's going to be, 
it here for LeBlanc Frostbite. So unfortunately, came in with the losing record, but that's okay. It's hard to have every single deck have a winning record even on our rank up day. I don't know if I'd really change very much with the deck moving forward. I just think that, you know, like that, that Twist of Fate Fizz deck's really good and you're going to lose sometimes. It's not, it's not like a, a matchup that's horrible, but you're definitely going to lose a good amount of them. You know, like it's, and so we just lost two in a row. And like I said, the control, the control deck, um, I didn't mulligan very well against, and we also drew poorly against. So, you know, we ended up just going two and three, but I don't think there's anything that necessarily needs to change in the deck moving forward. All right, that's LeBlanc, Fro LeBlanc Frostbite. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know if you would change anything um, going forward or not. But that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.